One day, when Twilight went to the, ca- the kitchen to get some, some breakfast, she noticed that all the leeches were in the kitchen table, sitting there and doing nothing. But when she was uh, walked up to him, he normally responded to her, but he didn't. So she may give it some, some piece of bread and something to eat. But when he didn't move, Normally he always jump on the table and eat, but he didn't. So she put her hoof against him, just just carefully to try to wake him up or something. But when he did, she did that. He just fell to the ground, to the floor, not moving. She was worried. She immediately picked him up and ran all the way to Dr. Fauna's vet clinic. And she just barely just opened the clinic when Twana just ran inside, worried. She really has stammered to, to Dr. Fana something was wrong with him. So she picked him up, took him to the room, and looked around to some tests while Twana was walking back and forward in the back room. She was worried something about her friend. Dr. Fauna later came out and said, she just, he's just fine. He just had it his cold, so nothing worried. So, Dr. Fana gave her some medicine and say, If you not get back to normal within a few days, come back to me to send and I can like, to take another check. So, she did. So, within a couple of days, Ovalicious were back to normal, and Twana went back to Dr. Fauna and thanked her for the help. But for some reason, though, didn't it actually happen that Spike noticed that Twilight left the castle from time to time and going over to Dr. Fauna's vet clinic? And she explained that she was just helping her with some of animals, since Fantasy was often busy with other fr- animal friends or helping his mother for friends, so she offered to help her. And Spike didn't pay much attention to it. He thought, okay, since Fluttershy is often busy with some other, some other problems, so he realized that even though that Twilight can speak animals' languages, but he always wanted to help, so he didn't, he didn't thought much about it. Though, there was something else that happened. One day, when Spike came home, he had just been he had been to the sweet apple acres when he came out and saw Dr. Fauna and Twilight in the castle library just having some tea, small talk, and he didn't pay much attention to what they talked about. So he walked silently past them and they didn't even notice him. But something did happen though, but it didn't he didn't notice that Twilight were kissing her. And later when he came down, Dr. Fana was still there, and she had been invited for dinner. Spike didn't pay much attention to that either. But later that same week, Spike had thought something was very off with Twilight. She saw that she was flying around in the castle, Cleaning by herself, singing for herself, humming. That was something that Twilight normally don't, don't do. She often just quickly brushing off the sun of things. So Spike then asked, talk to Starlight. If she noticed something differently with Twilight. And she said that only that she has been singing along herself, trying, helping Dr. Fauna. But then nothing else, they didn't much of that. But they knew something was something a bit different about her, but they didn't pay much attention to it. Only about some time later, Rarity, Spike, and Applejack were at the castle, just having some time to spend time together. Then suddenly, Twilight came up with the subject. And even though that Rarity were a bit Sad about Twilight. She haven't found any particular special song pony since most of them all her friends had some pony. 
Applejack with with Caramel, Fluttershy with Discord, Rarity with Spike, and Pinky with Seed Sandwich, and Twilight. She was the only one who didn't have any particular special song pull. So Twilight said, Rarity mentioned that, what about we set up Twilight for another date? With a, um, one of those dahlias for town, maybe Big Mac or... No, wait, sorry, he was already taken, sorry. Um, what about maybe... I don't know. But, but some stallion. I don't know, Twal Rarity said to Applejack. I don't know what we if she if we should involve in Twilight's life in that point. Maybe we should let her do it herself. Yeah, but who knows? Maybe I, I just feel sad seeing her alone. So maybe we should talk to her about this opportunity or at least a chance to that. But Spike was quiet and said, Well, Rarity, I don't know. I am I am with your Applejack with this. I mean, what if the, what if she doesn't want to be have her art help involved in this? Maybe she would prefer to be alone for some time, maybe But Spike, honey, you know that I'm right though. You have himself said that Twilight has been alone lately. She often's up all night reading a book. And you even heard her singing that she wants to find some pony. Yeah, but that was months ago, she said. Then suddenly, Twilight walked in. Oh, I I didn't know you were here. Oh, uh, yeah, they walked in here to have some tea, so I invited them. Yeah, that's okay, Spike. Uh, if you want me something, I'll have my room. But then suddenly. Applejack said. Sugar Cube, can you wait? Uh, yeah? Both Applejack and Rarity looked at each other, and now there was time to say it. But they couldn't say it. They couldn't bring out the right words. So, what is it? She asked. Both of them still looked at each other and wondered what they would say. But then Spike broke the silence. Rarity wants us to set up people on a date when a stallion. Spike! said Rarity. Wait, on a date? Why? she asked. Well, darling, we have seen you being lonely lately. You're always at the castle or yourself. But, Sugar Cube, she's right. We all have some special stuff for me, but don't you don't. So we thought maybe you could stand up in a day for the stallions from town, said Rarity. But you can't. Why not? she asked, asked Rarity. Because I don't, we, we don't need to date some special somebody because I already have one. Both, all of them were shocked. Wait, you have a special somebody already? Who? Spike asked. I... I can't say. Come on, you can tell us. We're your friends, and we don't have secrets for each other. And Twilight was silent, and just sighed and said, Alright, but just don't freak out, okay? We promise. Pinky promise? We promise. And Twilight was silent for a moment, it felt like an eternity. It is Dr. Fauna. Wait. You and Dr. Fauna are dating? Said Applejack. Yeah, that's true. We have been dating for the past six months. And you haven't told us this why? Spike does care security. I just didn't know how you all would react. Or if there was a time, if the time was right, I mean, after that, that, after I asked her, I was curious how did he, how long this dating would last. That was the reason I didn't tell any point of about this. Not even my own family doesn't know it. Or Kate is all shining on. I prefer to be a secret even back then because I didn't know if this relationship would last long, if I ever told you back then, 
you all will just be happy and then suddenly that doctor found out what I broke up and and you all will be ha- unhappy for me as well. And then you will probably have to try to find me a special zone pony even right back then. So that is why I didn't tell you. And they were just silent again. So you just kept that a secret, just a fear? Or you were just worried how we react? So all of us just nodded and started almost crying. Sugar Gib, you don't have to be so scared about this. After all, we are friends. And we would have accepted that no matter what. She's right, Applejack. Twilight, says Mike. After all, even Vinyl and Octavia are dating. Lyra and Sweet Robs are married. So why wouldn't you have been happy to have a girlfriend as well? And Twilight just smiled and said, I was just scared, that's all. Maybe you should tell Pinky about this and, oh, you know about that, Pinky. Yeah, I don't know if Dr. Dr. Fauna want to make this as, a, as much a big deal as a party or something. You know, Twilight, Pinky would probably, even if you find out about something about this sometime, she would like to do a party, even though that you don't want to have it. True, true. So they decided to tell her friends the next day, though. So after she could corner the stand the next day, as did the others were realized it, Pinky was so excited and she did throw a party. And they had highly invited Dr. Fauna, which she was a little bit skeptical or a little bit scared how this turned out. So both then, Rarity wanted to, to hear all details about their relationship, what they have been doing so far. And even both Dr. Fauna and Twilight were blushing and looked at each other with a smile and said they only didn't do much. They have been to the movies or sometimes, maybe even spent some time in the castle, reading some books together, having some tea, and or even went to her home to have some dinner. But that's also the time that they have done together. You know, I know that your your fair and family were will be surprised by the support of this, said Applejack. And she was right, because only about a week later, both her parents and her brother, and of course Cadence, wrote back to her and said that they were just happy. As long as she's happy to have special someone, even though there's a mare, they were just happy for her. But then there was some question that Randy had asked during the party. So, any plans for a wedding yet? Both just looked at each other with a big shocked faces. Rarity, we have been dating for six months and you're talking about the wedding already? Please, wait maybe around a year or not, maybe two years before even that. Or maybe longer. But Dr. Fauna, she was a little bit skeptical about this. But since now that every pony town knew about their relationship, they had no problem to hide it anymore. So, but then it happened. One day later on, that Dr. Fauna had asked Twilight if they wanted to go on a cruise. So after all, she had been working so much, so much lately, and she needed a break. And Twilight didn't have mind on that. So Fluttershy, she promised to take care of her vet clinic during time. And even if Twilight's friends had promised to look after her school after her. So, she did. And on the cruise, both had this amazing time. Having romantic dinners and watching some magical shows and just... Or watching sunset together. But when they came back home, everything was back to normal. Dr. Vanna was working at their clinic, Twilight then at the castle and the school. And everything was going well for both, even though something did happen between them during the cruise. They were nothing serious, they just talked about what about a marriage in the future and have a family. 
even though the dog is found and wanted to have her own family of her, family of her own, but she said to the Twilight that she wasn't ready to be thinking about a marriage or a family yet. Because they said, as like she said that during the party, they has only been dating for about six months. And that and she just wanna wait to see if their relationship would, would last longer. And Twilight didn't mind that because she knew that at the same time. As the time passed, Twilight had one day a surprise visit. She heard a knock on the door when she opened it. It was Cadence, Shining Armor, and her parents. Both she and Spike were surprised. Even Spike did know that they were coming for a visit, but exactly when he didn't say because that was something he didn't know. So when they came in, they then asked more about details about her and Dr. Fanon's relationship, how they met, or what she was doing for for living sort of things. Nothing much is serious talk, more just curious questions. But then there was one question that her mother, Twilight Velvet, had asked. So Twilight when will we be able to see your special zone pony yet? Um, I don't know. She has been working lately, so she hasn't much time off. But Spike then mentioned, well, what about tonight, during his other dinner? Invite her for dinner to meet your family. After all, this is a kind of big step, Spike. Yeah, but she, it isn't time for you at least meet her. I mean, even this, after all this, new to us all, misses Shining Armor. He's right, Kate Twilight. At least, just invite her to see how things are going on. Do you just want to meet her, after all? Um, okay. I can go invite her, says Spike, and this left the council. But, Spike, wait! And it was too late. But later that same evening, Dr. Fauna came to the castle as she was invited. She was still bitterly nervous to meeting Twilight's parents and her brother for the first time. She only been heard about them, but this was the first meeting. But she mentioned about her work for the for her parents and her brother, that she helped with animals, and that she and that Twilight does help her sometimes from, from time to time. And surprising, all of them actually liked her presence. She saw that she is a very good person personality, and she is loving about animals, and she was the perfect daughter-in-law. Even though the shining armor mentioned something about um about Twilight's past, like when she was growing up, that she how much she loved to practice magic, and how she felt to be. Uh, Celestia's personal student, and that's something that Twilight haven't even told her. But the meeting of the first time of her family went just without any problem. Even during it, after the dinner, when her father mentioned the question, "So, if you were would marry Twilight, would you have a family with her?" This was something that both Twilight and Red and Dr. Fauna had thought about, but they decided that, that to wait for the marriage, which her family understood. Even though when Twilight mentioned all this, and her family were just happy to see that she had found her special, special, special son pony, and that she was just happy. And about a few months after this event, that first meeting, the winter had arrived in Ponyville. And now, Twilight had asked, had asked her if she wanted to go to, to Cantalot to celebrate Heartwarming Eve with her family. And even though she was a little bit, a little bit nervous, but still there was a word much as to, this was actually her second time to meeting a family, but she agreed. Even though 
Twilight and Dr. Fana were a bit nervous how this holiday would turn out. If something would be you know, something a mistake happened happened and but they both out there nervously out their fear was suddenly washed away. Both had this amazing time. They listened to the stories about her family history and even though her parents did telling her some Dr. Fauna some stories about Twilight's past, like her how she was like a child, like as a filly, how much she loved to study magic, like her like her brother I've mentioned before. But still, even they decided to stay there, even to New Year's Eve. But something did had happened though. During the meet of New Year's Eve, precisely precisely at midnight, Dr. Fauna then had asked Twilight if she could speak her with her more privately. And then she then proposed to Twilight. She said that she felt so ready to be married with Twilight, even they have been all been together for nearly almost a year. But Twilight, she didn't speak at all. All she did was crying. She was so happy. She cried and cried and just hugged her and said yes. When they told her family about this, they weren't surprised though. Because Janning Armour told her that he had something, a feeling that could have happened during New Year's Eve. And only about a couple of days later, when they came back home, all their friends were so excited, even Pinky. She threw a big party to celebrate this, but they decided to have the wedding from the springtime. And as they did, as the spring arrived, both Rarity made the dresses for both Dr. Fauna and Rarity for Twilight. Spike had been asked to be the rain bearer and Twilight. She had even picked Rarity to be her bridesmaid and Fluttish Knight to be Dr. Fauna's. And the parties afterwards, it was just an amazing time for them. Dancing together for the first time, even family welcomed her, Dr. Fauna, to be the part of the family. And later, as a time for them both to go on their honeymoon. They went to Las Pegasus for about a whole week. Even there, they had some amazing time. Watching some, some shows, just have a romantic dinners and just have a great time. Even when I came back, everything was back to normal. Dr. Fana was working as a, as a vet as a normally, and Twilight taking care of the school and I live in the castle. Even for one step, a thing had happened. Dr. Fauna had moved out from her own home into the castle. But within two years, Twilight and Dr. Fana had talked about what about starting a family after all? And both were actually looking forward to that. But then Twilight had told her that he had learned a spell that they were able to, we would allow two mares to have a family after all. So, but then Dr. Fana said that she wanted to be, to want to be, to be mother first. So Twilight used the spell. So within a, a few months, they had an alicorn daughter. And she was so talented in magic as her. But the next three years, they had a Pegasus boy. And if only about when the son was about two years, they had another daughter, which Dr. Fauna had, and she were a unicorn. And that's how Twilight and Dr. Fauna found a true love and got a big family. The end.